group of you a different era of history to research. And the question is, what impact did your era have on the modern world? So Sarah, your group has the ancient Greeks. Ravi, you've got the Romans. And Danny's group gets, ah uh, yes, a bit of a challenge for you. You get the Middle Ages. Some even call it the Dark Ages. Boring. See how you get on. Yes, miss. So, Serene, yes, you get the Renaissance. Don't touch. It's priceless. And I suppose someone's been filling your head with the usual nonsense, eh? A thousand wasted years. A black hole in history. Am I right? Uh, yes, yeah, sort of. You see, it's always the same. You assume it was all mud, disease, death and destruction, with marauding mobs of barbarians ripping down the good of former civilizations, burning and plundering as they went, nothing of any worth invented either, eh? Oh, no, 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 no. Go on, be off you. You seem to be up to the task. I suppose I could. Follow me. I've got just the book for you. Excuse me, where are we going? From darkness into light, my young friend. From ocean onto land, there are things you should know. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Now, I know I left it round here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Now, take a look. If you dare. What's going on? That's because it's all a matter of perspective, my soon-to-be-illuminated friend. Discoveries that drew on knowledge of the ancients, but have more connections with your modern world than you could possibly ever imagine. Like what? Well, <laughs> all sorts of things. You 
you invented the camera? I laid the foundations for modern cameras by explaining how our eyes work. I found a way of projecting an image onto another surface through a small hole in a dark room, later called Camera Obscura. Think of all the things. Stand by. I'm ready for takeoff. Oh, 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 oh. 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 You did forget one thing, though the tail, useful for landing. Ah, my back. Is there a doctor in the house? Excuse me, a patient needs my attention. Scalpel! I think I may need some stitches. In that case, I'll use cat gut. Cat gut? From the gut of animals. Perfect for stitching up internal wounds. Your surgeons are still using it today. Sorry, mustache. Who's she? That's Mariam al Astrolabi, one of the many brilliant women of her time. She made sophisticated astrolabes. Astro what? Astrolabes. They show the sky and the stars on a small flat plate you can hold in your hand. Think of them as ancient calculating or timekeeping devices. Today you have your watch, your compass, satellite navigation helping people and explorers travel the world. Science at its brilliant best. And all these things were developed during the golden ages. Well, that's just the tip of the iceberg. There were thousands of other inventions covering all areas of life and in the years that followed their influence spread across the whole of medieval Europe. So you see, it wasn't so dark after all. What about you? Me? What did you invent? In fact, I have no idea how the Industrial Revolution could have happened hundreds of years later without such a device. Not that I ever get the credit I deserve. But my crowning... Dozens of components collected from different cultures around the world. Indian, Greek, Arabian, Egyptian, Chinese. Wow, a United Nations clock. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Does it actually tell the time? Wow, yes, of course. If it wasn't for me, thousands of people would be late for everything.
so, what have we learned? The Romans, the Greeks, the Renaissance and the Industrial Revolution all have great relevance to us today. Where's Danny's group? Just there, Ah, our intrepid Dark Ages group. You probably had a much harder time finding any connections with the modern world. Actually, miss, that's not strictly true.